Hi, I'm Holly from A 12 Bakery in London and today I'm going to show you how to make a pumpkin cake. To start with, we've got um, three 8 inch cakes, that's 20 centimetres if you work in centimetres, and I have buttercreamed them together and put them in the fridge to set. It's very important that your cakes are absolutely cold and properly set because otherwise when you come to carve them, they're going to wobble everywhere and you're going to end up with a mess. The first thing to do is to make some little nicks into the cake. So I'm just going to carve down like that and take that out and carve all the way through. Now in nature things tend to be um, in odd numbers and so I always like to do things in odd numbers. Um, and on this one I'm planning to do a face so I need one of the bulges to be big enough to fit the face in. So I'm going to leave this one a little bit bigger. This bit you just cut round and out it pops like that. Now we have finished carving the cake, the next step is to ganache it and I will show you how. The first thing you want to do is get yourself a base for the cake to sit on. So I'm just going to pop that right down there. Um, what you just need to do so that it sticks is put a little bit of ganache on and then you just pop that on the base there and now you have something sturdy and it's easy to move it around if you need to. Um, and here I have ganache which is equal parts dark chocolate to whipping cream. Um, you need to use either whipping cream is best or double cream. Single cream doesn't have enough fat in it and you won't get a good result. Um, so we put the ganache on because what we want to do is smooth out all of these rough edges that we've got here and provide a nice um, firm wall to keep your cake. Now we chilled this in the fridge for five minutes. I've taken the um, cake out of the fridge you can see it here so it's all nice and firm now but you can see that there are still some edges from where the knife has um, gone over it so there's two ways going about this the best way is actually just with your hand just because it's chocolate you just rub over it and everything will just um, melt and you'll get rid of all those sort of rougher lines Here I'm brushing hot water onto the cake to create a sticky surface for the fondant to stick to. Earlier you remember that we made one side of the pumpkin a bit bigger than the others so that we could put a face there. Well, so that we have that all prepared before we put the orange paste on, I'm just going to roll out some black sugar paste so that we can place that underneath the orange. And then when we cut into the orange part, we're going to have the black fondant underneath ready to go. Got our bit of fondant there and we simply Place that over, you just want to stretch it so that it fits into the groove on either side. Because then what we can do is we can smooth it. Oops. And cut it. And if you cut it into the groove there, it won't show through the orange fondant. So I'm just going to slice that up that line there.
So now we have that side covered with black. So when we cut out the face from the orange fondant, the cake is still covered underneath and is airtight and has the black showing through. Now we're ready to cover it with the orange fondant. So here I've just been kneading it out to get it nice and soft. If it's too cold and too hard, you'll find that when you put it on the cake, it might tear or um, just get the elephant skin, which is sort of a creasing and crackling in the fondant. Um, so that's nice and kneaded. Now I like to use corn flour to stop the fondant from sticking to the, um, to the cake board. So I just put a nice covering of that down and then just a little bit on the top, just in case you're worried it's a bit sticky on the top as well. Okay, and then we're ready to go and roll this right out. The way I do it is um, I roll it out a little bit and then every so often I turn it. Just make sure that it doesn't stick it means that you are rolling it out a little bit more evenly as well because you're going in different directions across the fondant. And then I find that the easiest way to cover a cake is to um, put the rolling pin down across the middle, fold it back over the top, and then you can just drag it over to your cake and lay it over like that. So now working quite quickly, you just want to smooth down the fondant over the cake, turning as you go. And when you get the creases like that, you just want to open the crease at the bottom and soften the fondant around. Once you get to um, this stage, what I do is I get my knife and I do a wide cut around the edge of the cake. Because then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take here, I've got a bowl where the um, foot of the bowl is smaller than the base of the cake because what you can do is pick this up, I can get it free, place it on there, and then you can smooth the fondant underneath the cake, <laughs> so that you get a really nice finish at the end. What I'm doing is just smoothing into the cuts that we've cut earlier to make sure that we don't lose any of the detail. Next thing to do is we need to mark the face on the pumpkin so that we know where we're going to cut. So just very lightly mark on the eyes. To do is to get a sharp scalpel knife and when you cut through you have to be careful you want to cut through the orange to meet the black but not actually cut the black so just gently go through and hopefully it should just come away. The next thing that we need to do is to create some markings and some lines and definition onto the pumpkin so that it has a look of something that's a little bit more real. So here I have a ball tool, it's quite a small one, but what we want to do with it is just use it to get into the grooves to create a little bit of definition. And just very gently pull it up across the cake. 
and then just score into it. Because you can see on pumpkins that they have very slight grooves in their skin. And we want to create a feeling of real skin on it. The next bit is to make a stalk to come out of the top of our pumpkin. So just take a blob of green fondant and you just need to make a flat bottom and then turn it over and roll it between your hands like that. Then we take our edible glue and apply a little to the inside. And then we'll just place that in and move it around so that it looks like a stalk. Okay, and now for our final touches. Um, the pumpkin looks great as it is. You can just leave it like that. But it is nice to add just a little bit of detail, just a little bit of highlight and just to create some um, natural marks on it. So I've got what we call lustre dust. I've got brown and tangerine orange. What I'm going to do is um, take some orange and put it into a little cup and then sprinkle. You can see I've got some already in there, but I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit more brown onto the top, just to create a slightly darker orange than what we've already got on our cake here. And then if you get your brush and you just dab, and starting from here, you just very gently and do it a little at a time because you can always add more, but you can't really take this off. And you just paint it with a soft brush. to move the cake onto a cake board. So there we have the pumpkin cake. Perfect for your Halloween parties, for your bonfire parties, or any other party where you might want a pumpkin cake. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Do subscribe leave any comments and I would love to see any pictures of cakes that you um, have made so do post them up and hopefully I will see you next time.